what we tried the last week was to build a spacecraft model and we chose the Rosetta lander which you see right here. Rosetta is the spacecraft that flew by the Earth just uh, on the 13th of November and uh, it, it contains a lander which will then when we arrive at the comet land on the comet surface. And what we wanted to do here is we want to find out how much can we use these Lego bricks to demonstrate certain aspects of the of this lander. So the first thing that you see here is the lander in general with the landing legs. It has three legs and we'll come to one of the special things. And it has the body itself. And the body of the real lander can also rotate. And we can demonstrate this here a little bit. And one of the important things that we have on this lander is a drill. And we modeled the drill with this device here, which we can move down and up to simulate the drilling process. We took the design documents or some of the user manuals of the spacecraft. This is the real lander. Um, on this slide here you see how large it is in reality. So the the wing, uh, sort of the, the width between the feet is 2 meters. So from here to here, which now is say 40 centimeters, it's in reality 2 meters. So I think this is a one-fifth scale model, roughly. Let's look at the details a little bit. If you look at the landing feet here, the, the special thing is we don't know where we land. We want to go to a comet. Now a comet is expected to be a sort of a snowy, rocky, snowy, dusty surface. And it may be very soft, it may be very hard, we don't know. So the design of the landing gear is quite complex and we tried to simulate at least one aspect of it. So if you look here, it has two of these little pads and uh, then in between there is something like a corkscrew and when the lander lands it comes down with some velocity let's assume this is this is now here the end of my table but let's assume it's a soft cometary icy surface then when i when i land and the spacecraft pushes on this landing leg it actually pushes this corkscrew in then the corkscrew will turn and and screw itself into the surface now, when the lander bounces back, this little corkscrew will stay in the surface and thus anchor the whole lander. And this reduces the chance of the lander flying away. Another interesting thing to see, the stability of building something. Again, if you look here at the real drawings, it's really all these, these triangles. You can make things very stiff if you use triangular shapes. And you see that a little bit on this side of the landing leg here. If you go from this side, we, we tried to stiffen these legs here a little bit to simulate the real mechanics or how, how you design stiff structures. Not quite successfully because this would really need some more of the bricks than to do it properly. Now, with respect to programming, the other thing that we tried to, to do and my little assistant here, we, we worked a little bit, but unfortunately not, not yet successfully. Uh, the aim now is to use the Lego bricks to simulate the drilling on the comet. Now, in reality, this will probably be pre-programmed, but we thought we'd demonstrate the idea of autonomy, which is also very important in, in spacecraft design. So what we want to do, and we do this manually now for you, but in the end it should be a program. Let's assume we, we want to drill into a soft surface. Now this surface is not really soft. Let's go down and see what happens. If you just go down, you see that this rubber wheel here just turns loose and this thing stops. So we don't break anything in the mechanics, we don't damage the motor. And we want to use this little sensor in finding out, yes, this device has really stopped and it doesn't move anymore. If it just stops too early, then we want to command it to go back up into its parking position. Then we turn a little bit and then we try again. And we do this until we find a soft spot. Say, I drill a hole in here and fill it with sand to simulate it in my, in my little shop here. And then we have a nice demonstration of this concept of autonomy. And that's it for this little Rosetta model for now but we will 
continue working on this. Yeah. Okay. You can use it to demonstrate certain design principles that we use in, in spacecraft design, uh, but also the, the logic, the programming, the idea of autonomy. I mean, the, the Lego robots also that you see in the instruction book, they're a good example of autonomy. And we think we could apply that with spacecraft as examples to also have an interesting application for children and grown-ups like me. <laughs>